Hi, Chris Matson here. And we can have a world that is absolutely amazing, totally incredible, as close to heavenly paradise as you can imagine. The, the potentials are here for that. We have everything we need. We have enough land for not only everybody on the earth to have their own beautiful space, you know, and, and still have all the, the natural endless mountains and everything. We have enough free energy, which has been suppressed. We, you know, there's, there's tons of different ways for free energy. And so with that and free land, you know, hey, build your place where, where you want in a balance, in a harmony, right? We can have that. And so like if, you know, some people groove on city kind of energy, we can have that, you know, but yet all free energy. Uh, we can have pure, beautiful water and systems or mechanisms that are in complete harmony and balance so that uh, the waters are pure, that the air is completely fresh and life-giving, and that the fruits and the vegetables and all of these things, we can have that growing in the wild as well, right? Roadsides and everywhere else so that, uh, you know, keeping in, in a beautiful flow with the seasons, we've got our food in, in the different localities. Uh, we don't need borders then either because what's to defend? <clears throat> we can still celebrate the energies of localities or what we used to call countries. But it would be in, in a way that how we think of cities, you know, within a different province or state or whatever, you know, you don't need a passport or anything to go to them. You simply go, right? Because everything is in a prosperity now so that uh, you don't need to defend anything. It's not like you're going to have millions of people rushing to one little area because it's uh, got everything and there's everything else is is not you know in a certain locality we can make it so even the deserts are blossoming and and filled with life we have the potentials for everything we can make a beautiful world it's not about uh, <clears throat> destroying anything or anything what it is it's about revisioning coming into the heart moving in the space of, of pure love that brings all of these things in any area of life uh, we can have beautiful solutions in education we can have it so the kids are not you know graded and in, in these certain grades and all this stuff. Hey, you know, make it nature-based. Let them really learn how to connect and to be in, in, a, in a gorgeous harmony with it all. And then as they're inspired, they can go do this and that. We could have internet things that are, uh, that are still there, but healthy, you know, in, in ways that are that actually bring about health. I've heard that 5G, for instance, isn't the problem. It's a frequency that's going out that you could actually have Wi-Fi EMFs that are in a balance that actually bring healing. We can have solutions in all of these areas. Uh, we can have cures for just about everything, if not everything. We can live for hundreds of years under these circumstances. We have nature is, is provided all the goodness, you know, but yet if you're suppressed from knowing this does this and etc., you know, there is the, the suffering right now. That doesn't have to be though. We can have a world uh, where we don't even need the roads because uh, very simple, just the uh, vehicles over above. <clears throat> and so 
uh, you can just let the roads go uh, back back to being part of the land, you know, making bike trails and things. Uh, we don't even need, there's so much we don't need, you know, like anything oil's doing, hemp does better, you know. We don't need uh, to be governed, you know, uh, like this uh, power, you know, to say, you must do this, you must obey. We already know what's right, you know. Like if, if I am given, uh, you know, uh, free land, just saying, okay, wherever it grooves for you, right. You know, I know not to build it in a, uh, you know, uh, my home. I don't need hundreds of acres and everything. I simply need a little space that's a, a beautiful energy field. Have a beautiful garden and uh, things like that, you know. Uh, we can... We can have a beautiful world. We can do this, right? And but what it takes something uh, very important. It takes freedom warriors. It takes people of love. It takes people that when somebody says, "Hey, you know, uh, the media says this," and it's straight from, you know, the authorities. You know, we don't have to buy that you know we you know as a matter of fact in the world I'm talking about any news that is shared is the truth it's not just propaganda and agendas and hidden motives and you know all of these I notions and ideas of corporations it's all gone so when you're hearing news it's truth. It's it's the real thing, you know. Uh, and with that would be so much just expansion right away because you're no longer under these corporate agendas of how to enslave you and, and you know, propaganda and all these things. Rather than that, it's all about freedom, right? Uh, <clears throat> And then in this as well, it's not about working for a living. No, 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 no. That is just another form of medieval slavery. You know, no, no person should have to work for a living. Let me repeat that. No person should ever have to wake up in the morning and go, Oh my God, in order to survive, I have to do this, this, and this. Right? It should be about maximizing your potentials. In the world I'm talking about, people, we are loving people. We like to produce. We like to be creative. We like to bless and be part of community. So if something needs building or something needs fixing or whatever, hey, we do it. Projects, right? And these projects in effortless, beautiful flows. And so if a child, for instance, or, a, a, you know, if somebody is starting to become interested in medicine, we have the systems and mechanisms that are beautiful for them to go through and uh, be healers, you know. It's people have callings. And when we're moving in the heart, in the world I'm talking about, people... Uh, are more productive than now because you think say you're uh, right now a, a, your typical person work is that going to be a lasting thing for generations to come of blessing no it won't be in the world I'm talking about what we do is it's lasting and it's gorgeous and it's wonderful and it's for the highest good of all right uh, you name a, uh, an area of life, and we can, we have the creative ability to make this heaven on earth, this golden age, you know, and so it's up to us. How we do it, first and foremost, is shifting into the heart, moving in the heart, and holding visions like I am right now, sharing those visions 
making your life right now an aspect of this new earth that I'm talking about, this new world. Uh, <coughs> Bruce Lipton spoke about uh, uh, the imaginal self. And what it is is the caterpillar crawling on the ground, you know, eating dirt and leaves and stuff. One cell within this caterpillar goes, hey, I'm not a caterpillar, I'm a butterfly, right? It has the information code for that. And so, and, uh, so what happens is the other cells attack that one cell. But in the process, they get the information, they replicate the butterfly cell to the point where it's just all this messy, gooey, jelly cocoon hanging there you know it looks a mess and then but over a little bit of time that starts developing the the cocoon becomes the wings and then there comes a point where all that gel goes through the wings and expands and breaks free and it's the butterfly right now that's what i'm talking about as us collectively be the imaginal self. Be the butterfly. Hold the visions of the butterfly. That's how we shift this world. The earth is waiting for this. For, you know, it, it's ready. I guarantee you, as we do this, the weather patterns will change. The, the earth will move with us in this. You will have you know, a, a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous uh, weather patterns across the earth. Uh, things like uh, planting food, planting uh, trees and berries and, and things out in the wilds along what were the roadsides and things. So a lot of our food is just as we're walking around, we grab it. We can have that. We can have this world, you know, eating the, the local stuff, right? Uh, we can have a world where, hey, you can travel anywhere you want, you know, and enjoy. Be in the bliss. We can have huge celebrations of just being, you know. Uh, we can have gatherings that are, are wonderful feasts, you know. Yeah, say, you know, and, and set up certain times, winter solstice, you know, in Mexico, we do this, you know, and things like that. It's just, we can have this. I vision this. This and so, so, so much more, right? Uh, I don't want my grandkids and, and the children of our future to have to put up with the nonsense that we're putting up with. I want them to have this world. I am a freedom fighter, a warrior for love. And every day when I wake up, it's on, it's, it's on my mind to first be it myself, emanate this love, vibrate this love, speak about these things, right? Expose the lies. Right now, the biggest lie going on is there's some kind of virus uh, pandemic killing people and be afraid and be muzzled and lock down and don't be close to anybody that's all a lie you know and so i expose that that's part of being a, a warrior for the truth we have to be the lion at this time as well you know but in that being the love, holding the vision, sharing the visions like I am right now. This and so much more. Let's do this. Not another day of this old world. You know, uh, back in March, uh, uh, right, the day that they declared that there was a virus, right, and all this stuff, uh, that world ended. That's not coming back. So if anybody is thinking that, hey, uh, it's, uh, you know, things are gonna get back to normal. 
uh, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but they'll never be that again. That world, that lifestyle, that way of doing things is over forever. We're not going back. So now the, the question is, is which way are we going forward? There is uh, the ones that are perpetrating this hoax of the virus and stuff. Or what the real motive is, is they want what's called the Great Reset, the New World Order Transition, uh, Agenda 2030, whatever, you know. Basically, picture China and North Korea uh, completely governed and monitored, no freedom. Basically, the opposite of what I'm uh, speaking of here. You know, uh, that's what that is about. That's uh, a timeline that would happen, but because of people like us, the imaginal cells of the butterfly, we are going to the world that I'm speaking of now. That's where we're really headed. And uh, the more of us that become the imaginal cells holding these visions, the sooner it comes. Namaste which means I see this light in you. Yeah, let's do this.